A federal judge ruling against the Biden administration today and mandating that 42 stays in place instead of ending Monday. This is the Trump era policy that prevented all migrants from declaring asylum to prevent the spread of COVID-19. However, shortly after the judge's ruling, the White House released a statement saying the Justice Department will appeal the decision. The statement reads in part, the authority to set public health policy nationally should rest with the Centers for Disease Control not with a single district court. While the Biden administration doesn't agree with the situation, the statement goes on to say they'll continue to enforce Title 42. And today, Governor Greg Abbott activated a joint border security operations center right here in Austin. It was reportedly created in response to the possible lifting of Title 42. And tonight, CBS Austin's Christian Flores is live outside the operations center. He has reaction from both sides of the aisle as well as the next steps in this legal battle. Ahead of today's ruling, Governor Abbott was preparing the DPS headquarters here as a multi-agency operations center in the event of the end of Title 42. Now all eyes will be on how long President Biden will continue this legal fight. We're glad that the judge ruled this way. Republicans are rejoicing after a federal judge issued a preliminary injunction to stop President Joe Biden from lifting Title 42, which would have ended Monday. This is the policy put in place by President Donald Trump that denied all migrants from seeking asylum, immediately expelling them, using the spread of COVID-19 as the reason. A Trump-appointed judge said that we could not have masks on airplanes, COVID protections on airplanes, yet another Trump-appointed judge says we must have COVID protections at the border. It doesn't make any sense. What would your response be to uh, opponents of this ruling who say, Hey, this is hypocritical that you have a, a Trump appointed judge who wants to end mass mandates on plans, but they want to keep up COVID-19 restrictions at the border. The judge saw that there could be some serious harm inflicted immediately were Title 42 to be lifted. And so he ruled in our favor because of that. Uh, because it was implemented as a COVID policy. During the Biden administration, there have been more than 3 million encounters at the border. Border officials say there have been 8,000 border encounters per day, but believe that could skyrocket to 18,000 a day if Title 42 went away. And right now, our Border Patrol is overwhelmed. You hear that over and over again from Border Patrol agents, from uh, border town mayors, even on the Democrat side, who have been calling for the Biden administration to not end Title 42. Uh, because they see what's coming. You're going to hear Republicans say that there's going to be, uh, you know, a big influx at the border, overwhelming border communities, and you even have some border Democrats raising some concerns about the lifting of Title 42. How do you respond to that? There's an easier solution to all this, and it's for us to have humanitarian infrastructure at the border. Questions have arisen on when Title 42 will be lifted after Friday's ruling. It could be months or even years. Now, the Biden administration could appeal or uh, ask to stay the injunction, which almost certainly the Fifth Circuit would deny. The case could go to the Supreme Court. But given the fact the midterm elections are coming up in November and President Biden has polled poorly when it comes to immigration, immigration lawyer Kate Lincoln Goldfinch says she does not expect Biden to continue the fight in court. The Biden administration could appeal. They could publish a regulation under the Administrative Procedures Act. They could wait and see if Congress takes action. So my guess is that we're going to see the Biden administration wait and see. Governor Abbott praised the judge's ruling today on Twitter, but also promised he was going to continue to take further action on the border. Reporting live at DPS headquarters, Christian Flores, CBS Austin News.